Well, here's a, another good story here. As someone who just moved to Utah, alcohol <laughs> laws here are a little bit different from any What's other unique? place. What's unique? We're unique. Uh, Midvale <laughs> is making some changes, though. Why are you laughing? In a move to revitalize community spaces, Midvale is allowing alcohol to be served in public places. Now, it doesn't mean you can have it just anywhere, but it does open up opportunities for outdoor dining and events like music festivals. City leaders say this is a way for safe and controlled drinking in public. We asked some locals what they think about it. Take a listen. I think it'll bring some fun things to the city. We're always excited when we find new things to do in Midvale, and it's fun when we get to stay close to our home versus having to travel into Salt Lake to do some of these events. We travel to a lot of different cities around the uh, around the U.S., and I mean, we see a lot of that patio dining. We frequent those areas quite a bit, so I mean, I think it would be a cool thing. Yeah, if we can have it in our backyard, then even better. Now, Midvale leaders say background checks will be done before permits for alcohol in those outdoor spaces are given, but it's a step in the right direction for those of us who want to enjoy drinks outside. <laughs> it's definitely some changes. I mean, Utah has definitely been, been cautious right. and very step-by-step step with its laws regarding, regarding alcohol use, not wanting to move too fast, and, you know, something that it seems like a lot of people are in favor of just giving that little opportunity you mentioned the outdoor dining patio right. dining just giving a little bit of less of a headache for restaurant owners I think. right an and adjustment also, for shop yeah well it also encourages tourism too for this town as well mm. you're mentioning now they could be host for for music festivals or any kind of festivals and people will be able to come and uh you know some some of those leaders who are hosting festivals that would be the number one thing would be you know serving drinks there so He's coming You're from so Austin. That, the number one thing for the festival. It might be the music. It I might mean, be the, the music. The too. number one well, thing they, yeah. they worry about. The number one thing. Hey, that's what makes the money. <laughs> the sales. It's a sale. I mean, You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong.